This is BDBD refugee settlement in West Nile, Uganda, where thousands of South Sudanese refugees have made a home since their government last month announced plans to begin voter registration in June. Many are now yearning to go back home and vote in December. If in luck, 18-year-old Noel Amba will be a first-time voter. He arrived at the camp a child in 2016 in the heat of civil war. As refugees, we don't, we, we, we really, we don't get our support that we want 100%. That's why I find it very uh, good for me to go back to my home state so that I vote. If that pass right leader comes, then all the services will be rendered equal. There are over 198,000 South Sudanese refugees in the settlement. But since 2016, when the Bidibidi refugee settlement was established, many of the refugees have grown into adults who can vote. But the asylum law prohibits them from participating in both local and national politics in both countries. The government of South Sudan, Uganda and UNHCR carried out democracy education in the settlement last year, but it wasn't necessarily to prepare refugees for participation in politics. The South Sudanese case, because of general war, someone can go back for different reasons. Some go for burial, some go to see family, but there is still war there. So we've not been uh, really strict when they come back and they are very, we reassess and we are demanding. Around 400,000 people were killed and millions displaced between 2013 to 2018 when a fight between President Xavier Kerr and Vice President Rick Masha plunged South Sudan into the civil war. Even as the situation remains unstable back home, the refugees in Uganda are optimistic their vote would make a difference. You, we know, uh, whether you go to the north, south, east or west, your heart still belong, looks back to your motherland. Uh, I'm looking forward to go back home for the December elections. Uganda is Africa's largest refugee host, with at least 1.5 million refugees. Over the last year, the country has received over 18,000 new South Sudanese refugees.